In this video, I'm going to show you three simple steps to estimate the cost of deploying Windows Virtual Desktops in Azure. My name is Vadim Vladimirsky, and I'm the CEO of Nerdio. And if you're an MSP trying to build or grow your Azure practice, then this is the channel for you. Windows Virtual Desktop, or WVD, is a popular new technology for Microsoft. It simplifies the deployment and management of virtual desktops in Azure, but it can still be somewhat challenging to figure out the true cost of an entire deployment. I'm going to show you how to estimate the cost of an entire deployment in three easy steps. The first cost component to consider when dealing with Windows Virtual Desktops is Microsoft licensing. WVD is an entitlement of the Windows 10 Enterprise subscription. So if you're, you or your customer already have a subscription to Windows 10, either through a direct subscription to something like E3 or E5, or through a Microsoft 365 subscription, then you're already fully licensed and there's no additional licensing that you need to purchase. However, if you do not have a current subscription to Windows 10, and you're not planning to go to Microsoft 365 anytime in the future, then the, the most cost-effective way to purchase a Windows 10 subscription is to use the E3 Windows 10 subscription, which is going to be about $7 per user per month. The other affordable option is to use Microsoft 365 Business, which includes Windows 10 Enterprise, but it also includes Office 365 Business Premium, and the cost of that subscription is only $20 per user per month. So that's cost component number one. Cost component number two of WVD is the actual Azure infrastructure that's going to be running your desktops in Azure. This includes things like virtual machines, storage of the operating system and users data, and also the networking components required for WVD, things like bandwidth, IP addresses, etc. The actual cost of Azure infrastructure is going to depend on the deployment specifics of your environment. For example, are you going to be using pool desktops where you're going to consolidate multiple users on a single VM, or are you going to be giving your users dedicated persistent desktop VMs, one to each user? It's also going to depend on how much CPU and RAM the applications that your users are running are going to require, etc. But a rule of thumb for estimating Azure infrastructure for WVD is if you're going to be deploying uh, pool desktops, the cost is going to be somewhere in the $10 to $30 per desktop per month range. And if you're going to be deploying personal desktops with a dedicated VM for each user, then the cost is going to be somewhere in the $60 to $130 per desktop per month. So that is cost component number two. And then finally, the third component of a successful WVD deployment is a management portal that can help you deploy, provision, manage, and cost optimize your WVD environment. Nerdio is such a management portal, and uh, a portal like this can really help you optimize your deployment and your infrastructure in a way that lets you achieve the cost levels that I've mentioned in cost component number two, which is the Azure infrastructure. And the typical cost of a management portal ranges somewhere from eight to $12 per desktop per month. So putting it all together, if you think about the total cost on the low end, you have a $7 Windows 10 Enterprise subscription, you have a $10 uh, Azure cost for the user's you know, hardware and bandwidth and storage, plus you have an $8 management portal cost. So if you put it all together on the low end, having a $25 per user per month desktop cost hosted in Azure and, uh, and, and using WVD is a really compelling case. So really you should consider WVD for your next desktop refresh project. To learn more and to price out your specific or your unique uh, WVD deployment scenario, please click on the link below the video.